my 10th time calling you. Can you please call me back? I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure you're okay. So, since you knew, and this is bro, you're from the second reason, I'm gonna wire you up on shit. So this first one is uh, Greg Cole. I see me, Jimmy, Greg Cole, whatever the fuck that was. Uh, he wanted to shoot his own and the other guy's three fifties. We gotta get some shit on his ass. Yeah. What you doing coming up to my job? Listen. Like, why you ain't been answering my calls? Like, can you, can you, like, just come home? Look, I made it clear to you that I can't do this with you no more. Chicago police, don't move, freeze, don't move, don't make me take you. come here, freeze, oh yeah. yeah, where you thought you was going, yeah. oh you gonna make me real, huh, oh you Greg over, don't y'all know, don't y'all got some lows or some of these niggas, shit I got like some lows or something, don't want no cuz or somebody fuck with them niggas, get into something man, you know what I'm saying, I'm fucked up cuz, real shit, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I see what y'all be having going on, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to get in, fuck them dudes, my cousin right here, man. He's out of town, man. He cool, with y'all. Yo. That boy look familiar, boy. You don't know me, nigga. Who the fuck you talk to, boy? Hey, look, y'all, calm down. Hey, what you talking about? Hey, you calm down. Hey, you calm down. Hey, you calm down. Hey, you calm down. You caught me at a bad time, man. I wish you would have let me know early and you was coming. Man, speaking of bad times, your mama told me about how you is in the street, man. CBMG niggas, that Rock Rockers cop met last week, Joe? Yeah, what about him? Man, I heard one of them niggas in a hospital right now. That nigga getting out real soon. Look, G, try to figure out the exact day that a nigga come home, G, because I want to knock that nigga right back in the hospital before he get out, G. Like, Man, I need some motherfuckers to figure out the where his mama live at, the color car she got, slide through his block, all that shit, G. A good session man that project is going to be uh due on friday so you already know what to do you got any questions my office hours is on wednesday uh six to eight uh make sure you turn your assignment in on time this time tati you you about to flunk out of school and greg good to see you you're doing good as usual like i knew you could oh what the fuck going on bro? Hey, excuse me. Uh, what's your name again? Tati. Tati? That's a cute name. I don't know. What's your name? Greg. That's nice. Greg. I heard you. You heard about me? Yes, I heard you. What you heard about me? You ain't never here. I ain't never in class? No. <laughs> never here. Oh my god, I be trying. I be. It just be a lot of shit going on. That's why I don't know. 
what the fuck going on in class because I barely be here. You be coming to this class? I always do. You do? Mm-hmm. Let's see. I need to catch up. I need somebody to help me with the fuck going on. You think you could like be my like personal tutor or something? Help me catch up the class? I'll help you. Well, can I put my number in your phone or something? We can go from there. I tried to be a man of my word and stay out the streets for my mom and dad's sake and start going back to school and working a nine to five. And that shit wasn't working out too well. I hate working for somebody and the money was slow. Tyler. Come on, man. Come on. Hey, remember that nigga Dip Boy? Yeah. I told you it was that little familiar, boy. It's that little chest boy. Fool. What the fuck is that? He know? I told you, boy. What the fuck? That's Folk's cousin, though. I told you it was that little familiar, bro. What the fuck? What that's Folk's cousin? So. I'm gonna go nail him and his cousin, nigga. You what? Let some bitch ass niggas around us. Fool, what? You think I knew he was with them niggas, fool? I'm just surprised you is, fool. I'm mad, too. Fool, calm down. Yeah, you look. No, look, calm down, fool. Fool, we ain't. Look, you gotta play this shit smart, fool. You gotta play this shit smart. That's what we're gonna do, fool. We're gonna round up all the guys, and we're gonna, we gonna try to call cuz and get him to bring dip. Act like we don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna sneak him out before he sneak us out. So, fool, fool. Let's do it, man. Let's go set that shit up, fool. What's good, fool? I'm, I'm, <laughs> let's go get this nigga, fool. I know y'all mad right now, bro. But cuz is on his way. And we gonna see what he got to say for himself. I'm not trying to hit that shit, bro. I'm popping his ass. Man, fuck that. He's talking about the ops. Yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all don't even know if cuz fucking with the ops. Dip had a picture with Enoch. And he brought him around, right? Look. All right. Like I said, we gonna see what cuz yeah, got to say for himself, folks. We really need to focus on Folks, mama right now, G. She gotta bury our son, we gotta plan funerals, all type of shit, folk. This shit, me. That's something like that, folk. Hey, hey, cuz. I ain't gonna lie. 
That's a lot of shit going on right now. Facts, facts. And I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. And I don't want you to lie to me. I just need to talk to me. How you feeling? Why your cousin did that? To be honest with you, bro, I don't know where he at. I ain't talking to him. I don't know where he at. I don't know where he at, bro. I ain't seen him, bro. I don't talk to him. You're good, man. Yeah, but see, you <laughs> well, bro. We grown as man. I just find it funny <laughs> how folks come up dead as soon as he get out of the hospital, and that motherfucker's missing, <laughs> and, and this your cousin. See, I, I kind of hear what you're saying, and I feel like you directed something to me, though, bro, but I don't know what folks that though, bro. I don't keep tabs on niggas. That ain't my dog, bro. I ain't with him yet. They bro. I ain't got shit to do with nothing he got going on. You folks. brought him around, bro. Facts, he came to come fuck with me, but shit, he got other business he do out here, too. I'm going to ask you one more question, bro. What's the word I talk to him, cuz? It look like it's getting a little weird in here, bro. When the last time you talked to your cousin, Dylan? Shit, last time I talked to Shorty, man, gave his ass hundred dollars. Smoked like a water too, bro. Told folks was getting out the hospital. What? Said, what? What? Tell about folks getting out the hospital. So, so, so y'all kill folks? Tell about we kill folks. You man, take his ass in the back, bro. Yeah, bro. Hold on, calm down, bro. Y'all be smooth, bro. Y'all ain't gotta do all that shit. Tell be easy. Man, bro. shut the fuck up, man. Damn, I love y'all for why I never do no shit to hurt y'all like that, bro. Please, bro, y'all got guns to me and shit, bro. Could be calm, bro. Shut up, you backdoor up. I never do no shit like that, bro. I love y'all, bro. Man, you know what the fuck you did, man. Come on, bro. I know where your mama stay, bro. Come on, tell them I'm cool, bro. Don't do me like this, man. I love y'all, Man, shut the fuck up. Come on, man. I can call him. Please. Where your motherfucker phone at? It's in my pocket, bro. Y'all can get it called. It's right here, man. You gon' see, I ain't got shit to do with that. What bro. the fuck the code is? It's one five zero three two two. What the fuck his name, mother? It's a cuz dip, bro. We check that shit for him. Call him, bro. Why you can see, I ain't got shit to do with that, bro. He ain't fucking with me either, Joe. You see? Look, 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 fo, look. He ain't fucking with me neither, bro. I ain't got shit to do, bro. Come on, fuck up. Let him up, fool. Damn, fool. I got guns in me and shit, bro. What y'all got going on? See, I ain't got shit to do with fool, man. I ain't never back though, y'all. Hey, look, I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Get his ass up out of here, man. Oh, fool, damn. Hey, look. I don't want to see you on a block. No fucking mo. You not allowed. If I see you again, I'ma kill you, bro. Get his ass out of there. Get the fuck on. Bro. I ain't even do it, Thank you. 
in your house for setting a bad example to my little brothers and sisters for hiding drugs inside your house without your permission. Since I talked to my daddy, that that's the reason I'll come over here and apologize to you neither. Because this is something that I've been wanting to do him out of my heart. Because I don't like being on bad terms with you. Because I love you. I just want to know do you accept my apology? Well, son. to me and I mean you chose a life that I tried to keep you away from that hurt the most I love you son and I forgive you and I hope the little talk your dad had with you, I hope it worked, I hope you changed, and I hope you left them streets alone. I ain't in the streets no more, my daddy got me a little job at FedEx, Some, somebody you know worked there, got me hired, and I'm working that now, and uh, I'm still going to school at Kenny King. That's good. Too many motherfucking big mamas for me. Right. But I love you, son. And my doors are always open. No, no. I ain't come over here to apologize <laughs> so I can move back in and none of that. I'm cool. I'm a grown man. I can live my own. But I, thanks for the offer. I, I love you. Okay, all right. <laughs> love you, son. <laughs> I love you, too. Don't stand for me, you can't. I ain't Shit, gonna I'm gonna see Enoch, bro. Right. You was by the company or something, gang? Hell no, nah. who that say it was? A nigga name, a cousin, duh, cousin, something, somebody cousin. Nah, I ain't expecting no motherfucker, but let him in, see what he up. Hey, check it out. Yeah. Alright, check it out. Come on, bro. Oh. Uh, get out of this wild, man. Oh. Now let's not get how to treat a bitch this man for. You sure is scrap to be a business man. Yes. Ain't you, what type of bitch you got with Enoch with a pipe? Damn, bro, I ain't do shit. Come in and talk, bro. We'll check it out, talk. What's going on with you, bro? What's going on? My cousin Dempsey, man, this way said y'all got some shit busted, bro. I'm trying to come get down. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, fuck out. Why is this? Right, is you 12 or something? <laughs> you talking about you? Hey, you can't come fuck with y'all, though, man. Cause I said y'all was fucked down here busting. I mean, you just fucking with them CBMG niggas. Now you trying to come over here and fuck with us. Like, what's going on? Like, oh, no, 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 no,
That's a good one right there. Yeah. 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 Big mm-hmm. score. I bet. Mm-hmm. See, that's what I want you to do then. I want you to go take care of that then. You know where his mom's dad, right? Mm-hmm. Go take care of that. Oh, he you say he trying to fuck with us, right? Mm-hmm. For sure. You gotta prove to us. You can't just come drop no low and think we go accept that shit. Go prove to it. You can. Saying like if it ain't one thing, that's another. More money, more problems. It's like you never know what's gonna happen or when. It's always consequences for your actions. And now I gotta deal with the repercussions. Now a CBS2 exclusive, a mother of four shot 17 times and left for dead. Her family says it was all over a parking space. These niggas shot my fucking bubble, man. Felt responsible. I'm supposed to have been there for her. I chose the streets over my own family. We're gonna go shake his ass up right now. Great go. Let's so place your boots up. Let's get it. Okay, don't shoot. I'm about to open the door. first house. I was excited about that. My neighbor, he was very respectful. He'll come walk the kids down to my house. With talks from his baby mother, they had their little altercations. I had went to a local gas station coming back towards my block, and I was gonna go in a house in the process of making it to my house. The neighbor, baby mother, had yelled my name. I pulled over to see what she had wanted. The father of her daughter came out telling her, come in. And then she was kind of like shaky, like, don't leave, wait right here. She went in and he yelled off the porch, you need to move, you need to move your car. Get from in front of my house. And I'm like, what's going on with this? When she came back out running, she told me to move, go, get out of here. And before I knew it, I was trying to start the ignition and he told her to step aside. And when she stepped aside, that's when I saw the barrel of a handgun. Next thing you know, I saw blue sparks. It was gunshots ringing off. 
ricocheting and hitting my fender, my passenger door, passenger window, going over my head, entering to my body. I was in the driver's seat trying to lay back to stop being shot. And the shots were still going. That's when I realized he was trying to kill me. I could feel the burn. I even smelled my skin burning. I even saw smoke coming from out of my mouth. I felt my limbs getting weak. The neighbor, baby mother, pulled me out of my vehicle and I could feel the relief of air. And I saw other people bringing towels and putting them over my legs and arms. I didn't know where I was hit. My clothes was feeling warm, like soaked. And I knew it was bad. By that time, I heard sirens, and the paramedics arrived pretty soon. And as they was putting me in the paramedics, and I was trying to tell them to call my son, call my mother, the shooter who shot me still in the house. And they was calming me down like, we have to take care of you, you in critical condition. And I was hearing them saying, oh, she's losing a lot of blood. And they put me to sleep. I was shot up 17 times. I had two blood transfusions. I coded two times. My whole right elbow was shattered. My nerves, my tendons, all that was ruptured due to the injury from the gun wounds. My right wrist in the palm of my hand, they had to reconstruct it and put metal hardware in the elbow and metal plates in the wrist. My liver was nicked, my kidney was nicked. I was cut open straight up and down cross, just like a cross. So I have a long scar on my stomach, a bullet that went underneath my ribs. They just recommend leaving it alone because I could have suffered paralysis. And so that's still there. I was actually in a coma for five days. When I woke up every day, I was bombarded with different students and nurses. That's when they started explaining. We got a device that we have to change every two days and it sucks the drainage, it pulls the gunpowder, and we use these for people in the military that suffered a lot of gunshot wounds. It was awful. The detectives, they came to my hospital bed. I was able to identify who he was, and they were saying he went to the house. They told them that he doesn't live here. They didn't have a, a search warrant for him because it wasn't his name on the deed or the titles. The baby mother acts as if she didn't see anything. So basically, he was able to flee. So he fled. He got away. It really has been a journey. My life could have been taken away, and I'm still here for a reason. And obviously, I have a purpose to be here to speak about gun violence. Follow your gut feeling and recognize warning signs. Everybody have a warning sign. And if anything doesn't feel right, then just leave the situation and just go. This is my survival story. What's yours? Kiwani Jones has had 14 surgeries since she was shot 17 times on July 13. Bullets tore through her major organs and limbs. Your right arm had to be rebuilt. The bones were shattered. So yes. Every day she wears this device now. Uh. This ain't happening. Three a.m. My sister called me, said mama was shot. I heard her gut, cause I ain't believe if I was dreaming or not. I called her back and said, You sure? She said, Why would I not? Couldn't stop crying, then the nigga started reloading the Glock. Sis told me she had surgery, so meet him at Christ. Got in my car, driving fast, even running some lights. I was driving crazy, speed limit 30, but a nigga out here doing 80. Trying to make it to the hospital to see my old lady. I ain't get no fuck about no cops, they too damn lazy. I ain't get no fuck about no jail, cause I'm too damn crazy. Even if the police get up with me, I got my bail, baby. I'ma send a message like the motherfucking mail lady. Police listening to my music, trying to make me tell, baby. Trying to lock me up for that shit I used to sell, baby. I ain't with that cuffing shit no more, I'm trying to nail, baby. To that nigga that shot my mama, get that nigga hell, baby. 17 times after an argument over a parking space and survived. Yeah, now she's out of the hospital and talking only to CBS 2's Suzanne Lehman about her recovery. Years later, mama cool and she back on her feet. But meanwhile, I'm fucking shooting still out on the street. To be honest, he the reason that I carry my heat. But I'm the screen, man, I move like a ghost in these streets. But I'ma try to get him before he try to get me. We ain't squashing no beef until.
to your ass to see My mama worried she don't wanna see me six feet deep She took 17 shots, I'd rather it be me Every day I blame myself, I was a death, she needed help But I was focusing on my wealth instead of focusing on her health But anyway, now I gotta play the cards a nigga dealt Now I focus on my family more than I focus on myself Motherfucker